Hello and welcome to the GP Enhancement Migration session. My name is Casey Metzger and today I'll be talking about many of the new and exciting enhancements that we have made to the GP Migration Tool as part of Wave 2 2022. Today I want to spend some time talking about the changes that we made to the Migration Setup Wizard. We took some of the options that you had available there and made them into a new GP configuration page, giving you much more flexibility in choosing what you want to migrate to Business Central. I also want to give a refresher on many of the new enhancements that we've added in the last few months, as well as give you a sneak peek into what you can expect as the new release comes out. Finally, we'll take a closer look at the tool itself, as well as the data that we are going to migrate from your GP on-prem system into Business Central. So as I mentioned, many of you are familiar with the existing migration tool setup wizard where you had just a few options to migrate. It was really an all or nothing approach. You either had to choose to bring all your data over with a few options to not bring over inactive information. What we've done now is taken that information out of the setup wizard and created a new configuration page where you have many more options to choose for what you want to bring over from your GP system into Business Central. You can choose things like which modules you want to bring over. If you want to bring over certain master data records, you can choose all of that. So you'll find that the page gives you much more flexibility. It also has global controls letting you select for all the companies that you want to migrate or you can make those individual selections at the company level. I also mentioned I want to talk about a bit of the new features that have come in, in the last few months. We've added many new things like being able to choose to not migrate your inactive checkbooks or your bank accounts. We know many GP customers have old bank accounts that they don't want to bring over to their, to their business central environment. So you can choose not to bring that information over. You can also bring over your unreconciled bank transactions. Previously, in order to migrate, you needed to have reconcile your bank accounts before migrating. Now, all those unreconciled transactions will come over for you, so you can reconcile after your migration. We've also added the ability to bring over your fiscal period information, so you don't need to reset up your accounting periods in Business Central. That fiscal period information will come over for you, as well as if you've set up bank account information for your vendors. Again, that information will automatically migrate over. We also know that many GP customers like the class concept, so they'll put classes together for their customers, items, vendors, and then put posting accounts associated with those. So now you'll have the option if you want to bring that information over as posting groups into Business Central, and those customers, items, and vendors will be assigned to their appropriate classes. And finally, we also give you the ability to limit the number of GL years that you want to bring over. Many GP customers have been on the system for 10, 15, 20 years and don't want to bring all that information over into Business Central. So you can easily enter in the year that you want to bring and everything from that year forward will come over into your Business Central environment. So I encourage you, if you haven't looked at the tool in a while, take a look at it, look at some of these new features that have been added. And then as part of Wave 2 2022, what you can expect is that new GP configuration page I mentioned give you a lot more flexibility, being able to pick and choose the information you wanna bring over. You can select which modules you wanna bring over. Perhaps you just wanna bring your GL and AP information over and leave some of your receivables back in GP. You can you can choose to do that. You can also pick if you want to just bring master data over for each module, um, as well as being able to pick if you don't want to bring over your discontinued or inactive items. Many GP customers have hundreds, if not thousands of items in their inventory, many which could be inactive or discontinued and don't want to bring that information over to Business Central. So you can choose to do that. Also, based on some feedback, we bring over that GL uh, summary information over and migrated over, but everything was being assigned with the same document number, which made it difficult to reconcile or if you needed to reverse a specific transaction, it was reversing everything. So now we will increment that document number for those individual GL summary records. So that is a sneak peek into what you can expect as part of the new release. With that, let's dig into the tool in a bit more detail. So let's go ahead and jump into the GP migration tool. You can still access the tool like you always have by going up to the search and I'm gonna type in that migration management wizard. 
Here is my cloud migration setup. So the wizard is just as it was before, where you can come in and select your options around the privacy policy. And on the next screen is where you can select your GP migration tool. This next screen again is where you create that secure connection between your GP on-prem system into your Business Central SaaS. So it will use the Azure, Azure Migration Data Factory to move that information securely across. The next screen, there's only one left, is where you pick the companies that you want to migrate from your GP system into Business Central. Since that step takes a few moments, we'll go ahead and close out of the setup wizard. And once you are done going through the wizard, the new GP configuration page will automatically open for you. You can also access it from the migration management page, which where we will go next. So in the cloud migration management page, there will be a new option that you can select called configure GP migration. And in this window, you will see there's a lot more options allowing you to pick and choose the type of information that you want to move from your GP system into Business Central. The first option are the modules. So by default, they are all turned on so you can migrate all the modules. But if there are specific modules you don't want to bring over into Business Central, you can go ahead and toggle them off. For example, let's say you just track a few customers in your GP system and you want to start fresh in Business Central. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, un unmark or toggle off receivables and not bring that information over into Business Central. The next option is if you just want to bring your master data record over. Now by default, these are all off, so master data and transaction information will come over. But maybe in this case, you just want to bring your bank account information over, but not any transaction information. So I'll say I only want to bring master data over for bank. The next area is where you can choose that inactive record information. You've always been able to select if you don't want to bring over inactive customers or vendors, but now with new enhancements, you can choose to not bring over inactive checkbooks, and very soon you'll be able to pick if you don't want to bring over inactive items or discontinued items. And in this case, I'm not going to bring over our old inactive or discontinued items. The next area are the classes I mentioned earlier. If you were big users of classes in GP, you can still bring that information over into Business Central as posting groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring over my vendor classes. What that will do is create uh, posting groups for each one of my vendor classes and assign the appropriate vendors to those with the right accounts. Now I mentioned these settings are all at a global level. So if you've selected to migrate several companies, these options will apply to all of those companies. However, at the bottom, you can tweak per company. So in the setup wizard, I chose to migrate two companies over, and you can see the selections I've made above are available down below, and I can tweak it at a company level. Let's say for this first company limit company, I don't want to bring over my payables information, so I don't want that AP information to come over. So I'm going to go and unmark my AP option there. I can also scroll over and see that it's automatically unmarked the vendor classes. So if the options are correlated or have a relationship, they will be unmarked when you unmark one of the other ones. The next option that you want to do is set your global dimensions up. Now, if you remember, Business Central uses dimensions instead of the segments. So your segments in GP will get migrated over as dimensions. Whatever main account segment that you have set up in GP will come over as your main account or natural account in Business Central. And then you need to choose which of your next two segments you want to be as global dimensions. The remaining segments will come over as shortcut dimensions. So if you are migrating a lot of companies that have similar dimensions, we suggest that you come up to the set all dimensions. This will allow you to select your dimensions once. So I'm going to say my department segment is going to be my first global dimension and my division segment is going to be my next global dimension. What that will do is when I click OK, it will apply to any company that uses those same, same segments. Now you can see it didn't default in for my limit company because those two segments don't exist for that company. So I just need to come back in and select which segments I want to be the global dimension one and two for that particular company. Lastly, I mentioned that you can now limit the amount of GL summary information that you bring into Business Central. By default, we default it to zero, which means it's going to bring everything over from your GP system. All that summary information for all the years will automatically come over to Business Central. But let's say I've got 10 or 15 years out there and I don't want all of that information into Business Central. I just want the last few years. So I can go ahead and type in a year. So I'm going to type in 2020 for both my companies. 
And what that will do is it'll bring that year and everything forward over. It'll also create your beginning balances for 2020. So it'll look at 2019 transactions, create those beginning balances for you in 2021 or in 2020, and then bring all of that information over. So you can see there's a lot of new selections available to here. All your information is saved. If you need to make some changes in this, it is saved all of that. You can come back in and out as you um, talk to others in your organization. If you're a partner and you talk to your customer, you can come back in. Once you're happy with all of your options, you can come back out and then that's where you start your migration process as you've done before. The first step is to run the migration now, which takes all of the information from your GP tables, moves those into staging tables. Once that's done, then you run the upgrade, which takes the information from your staging tables, transforms that and then brings it into the actual business central table. So that steps um, are the same from version or wave one 2022 those two steps were there um, this is just adding that gp configuration option uh, right in the beginning give you that increased flexibility so let's take a look i've run the migration so let's jump over to a company that was actually migrated and look at what the data looks like in that company so if i jump over into my fabricam company this is that demo company that you see in gp and let's take a look at some of the data that i migrated over if you remember in that GP configuration page, I chose not to bring over my AR, or my receivables information. So once I get into this company, I wouldn't expect to see any of my customers from GP. And you can see I don't have any customers because I chose not to bring that receivables information over. I did, however, choose to bring over my payables or my AP information. So if I click under vendors, I should see all of the vendors that were in my GP system. I can see all of them here. I've got all their balance information. So the migration tool will automatically bring over all of those open invoices so I can start and continue to pay any outstanding invoices that I have with my vendor in Business Central. If you remember, I also wanted to bring over that class information. So I had my vendors assigned to classes in GP. So if I drill into my vendor and I scroll down, I can see now my vendor posting groups. This was the class that it was assigned to in GP. So I have all those classes over in Business Central now. If I click on the drop down, again, these are all of those GP classes available. What is nice is many of the reports in Business Central, you can easily filter on those posting groups. So if I go under reports and go to my trial balance, for example, I can easily filter my trial balance on those classes again. So if you were using classes quite a bit in GP, you can still use that same similar concept in Business Central. In addition to my AP information, if you remembered, I chose in bank that I just wanted to bring over my master data. So if we go over to bank accounts, I should see all the bank accounts that were set up in my GP system, but I just said bring over master data. So that's why I don't have balances or transactions in here, but I could easily enter in that beginning balance, whatever my current balance is in my bank account, quickly enter those in. So that's just an example where you may just wanna bring in master data, but not that transaction information. One last thing I did want to show you is that accounting information, those fiscal periods do come over as your accounting periods. So if we go in and type in my accounting periods, I should see all the information for my fiscal periods in that were set up in GP now in Business Central and I no longer need to manually enter in all of that information. So again, and I will take that fiscal period information and bring it over into your accounting periods. And that's a quick look at all the enhancements we made to the GP migration tool in the last few months and what you can expect to see in WAVE 2022. Thank you for joining today and I encourage you to check out the many other sessions that are available in the launch event. Thank you.